Hey there guys, Mark here from Soulfly Concepts and welcome back to the channel. Today we are once again inside ADE. Today we're going to be looking at adding imagery to your scenery. Now when I say adding imagery to your scenery, I don't mean adding like ground poly imagery. What I mean is adding guide imagery. So the simple right click add image option that comes inside uh, ADE. Okay, let me try that again. Okay then. So, imagery in AD is used as a guide and a guide only. Um, it's like adding a helper shape. The shape is not exported with the scenery, it's just simply there to help you. So, to add an image, it's actually quite simple. So just right click, add image, and then you select your image. And once you've selected your image, you can go ahead and click on save, and then you are free to position that image the way you want. So if we just click on the image and right click, position image, we can adjust the scale, the width, the height, the heading. Right, so that's not positioned at all accurately. You're gonna to wanna to do a better job than me because yeah, you, you just want to. It's as simple as that. You, you, you're just going to want to do a better job than me. So adding imagery by hand, um, it depends on how good you are, but usually you're never going to be 100% accurate. Usually. Um, there are people out there who are 100% accurate every single time, and it's just like, how do you do that? How do you, how do, you do that? But yeah. If you want to add your own imagery like this, for example, this is a screenshot from Google Maps. So, you know, you can add your own imagery if you like. I mean, you could add a picture of a butterfly if you wanted, but that, that wouldn't be any help. So what I like to do is I like to use um, generated imagery from a program like FSF tiles. Now, if we have a look at FSF tiles, pop that up there, FSX. Just find Luton. Ah, there it is. Okay, so here is Luton Airport. What I would normally do is just draw a box around it. Probably a bit bigger than that, but yeah, either way. And then what I would do is I would change my folders to say something like FSET slash works slash Luton. And the same for this one, just put a slash loot at the end and then start. Um, so what we want is we want Earth service. That can be any service that works for you. Scenery compiler, FSX, it doesn't matter at all really, uh, but preferably FSX. Area snap needs to be off, create masks. I've got mine set to yes, but you can change yours to no if you like, because all we need is the imagery itself. Compile scenery, definitely not, because we're just wanting the imagery. And use cache, it doesn't matter. And once you're happy with that, you just click start and it will generate some images. Now the images it makes uh, are simply, if you have masks turned off, it will only generate one image. If you have masks turned on, it will generate all of them. Except for this guy here, which is the area thumbnail. I don't know why it makes that. I, st I still have no idea. It's a tiny image. Tiny. I mean, look at the size of that. It's all pixelated. -ed. But yeah, inside the folder it compiles to, you're going to have some information files. Now these guys contain the information for the imagery. For example, the corner coordinates. Now these are the corner coordinates for the imagery. Well, for that particular imagery at least. So I'm just going to pop this over to the other screen again. Now we're going to have add image. And we're going to go ahead and select that imagery. Now if the image is humongous, you're going to get this warning saying it's over seven and a half meg. Um, if your computer can handle it, just click OK. 
because, you know. And you want to click on Enter Corner Coordinates. And this will open up the bottom boxes. We'll have latitude and longitude for top left and bottom right. Now that's exactly what we have inside this text document. We have the longitude and the latitude for top left and bottom right. Keep that in mind, it goes longitude, latitude inside these text files. So we want to start with the longitude. There we go. Now with these boxes populated with numbers, uh, we can go ahead and click save. And once we do, the imagery will be perfectly positioned to where it should be in the real world. Which means in Luton's case, you can delete everything, literally everything, and reposition everything. Apart from the runway, the runway is roughly in the right place. But yeah, we can get rid of all of these taxiways, all of the parking, things like that, and we can reposition everything to where it should be because there are there is some slightly out of place stuff here. Like there is uh there is some slightly out of place stuff. I mean the airport's in roughly the right location. But everything is slightly out of place. So yeah, that is how you add imagery inside ADE. Uh, I'm just going to mention it again, so so you don't, don't forget, the imagery is used as a guide only. It's not exported with the scenery, so please don't expect it to be. I can't say that enough, really. I really can't say it enough. Anyway, if you like this tutorial, go ahead and leave me a like. Hit that thumbs up button. Give this video a damn good thumbing. And let me know you liked it. Uh, if... Uh, if you want to, if you're feeling really, really nice, then you can go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. And you can become one of my long-term long -term subscription buddies. I don't know where that phrase came from, but I'm using it. I am using it. Anyway, my name is Mark from Soulfly Concepts. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in the next video. Whatever that may be. I do not know. Ta-ra! I mean, bye. Bye.